With a potential showdown looming over raising the debt ceiling, President Joe Biden plans to use part of his State of the Union speech as a call for unity. To my Republican friends, if we could work together in the last Congress, there is no reason we can't work together in this new Congress, bye. The people sent us a clear message. Fighting for the sake of fighting, power for the sake of power, conflict for the sake of conflict, gets us nowhere. The comments are out of a typical SOTU playbook, but they take on new resonance amid concerns that a protracted standoff over the debt limit could rattle markets and send the economy into a nosedive. Biden met with New House Speaker Kevin McCarthy RCA, last week, as Republicans are demanding spending cuts, as yet undefined, before raising the ceiling again. Democrats don't want conditions attached to raising the debt limit as a way to pay back spending that has already been incurred. Much of Biden's speech is expected to be devoted to the administration's accomplishments, as Biden is bolstered by a recent blockbuster jobs report. Jobs are coming back, pride is coming back because of the choices we made in the last two years, Biden plans to say, according to remarks released me. This is a blue-collar blueprint to rebuild America and make a real difference in your lives. He also plans to declare that COVID no longer controls our lives, and that democracy remains unbowed and unbroken. The latter is a reference to the January 6th attack on the Capitol. The story of America is a story of progress and resilience, Biden plans to say. We are the only country that has emerged from every crisis stronger than when we entered it. That is what we are doing again. Biden also plans to talk about progress on an array of issues that enjoy wide bipartisan support, like cancer research, veteran support, mental health assistance and cracking down on fentanyl trafficking. He also will address social media platforms, calling for protections for privacy and safety for children online as well as a ban on advertising targeting kids and young people. He also plans to call for limits overall on the personal data that companies collect for targeted advertising. There also could be mention of Biden's proposal unveiled last week to curb so-called junk fees, including concert ticket surcharges and cable, TV and internet early cancellation fees. And the scheduled presence of Bono suggests a reference to some of his signature issues, including HIV-AIDS and global poverty.